When I come back in from the out of doors and I have a reflective moment, I'm thinking of all the ways that my senses were impacted. The birds twittering, the wind blowing across my skin, the sun dappling the light around my feet, the ability to see down 20, 30 feet into the water, see the fish that are floating by. All of those sensory experiences add up and help rebalance us in an age where we really tend to shut them out. When we first started, we set a goal of getting 10,000 kids a year out on the Mississippi River. And we thought that was a huge goal, which it was. But within two years, we were, we were doing that. The program really took off, it was very popular. So we started going to other cities. Finally, you know, within a couple of years, we had taken the canoe mobile to 60 cities across the United States. And really within about five years, we had reached 250,000 kids. And it's kind of amazed me. I mean, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still amazed that it's happening in the way that it is. I had an opportunity uh, to join some of uh, the young people who participated with Wilderness Inquiry. You could tell when uh, the young people got off of the canoe, they felt pretty proud of themselves. And I think that matters, especially for our, our kids who may not have access uh, to the ability to, to go out in a, a canoe, to get on the water, uh, to spend that time uh, outside. Wilderness Inquiry really helps to remove a lot of those barriers to participation. It helps our kids uh, to, to connect and to start to really value the environment around them. I had a lot of fun and I know that they did too. My goal as an educator is to give my students access to as many experiences as possible. And Canoe Mobile is full of energetic people who assure students of their safety and it's a safe place to learn something new and to try something new and you have a huge team that supports you through new experiences. So I think Canoe Mobile is a great place for a student to try something new out of their comfort zone. This is a program for all children, all young people uh, in, in our community uh, and across the country. WI uh, does that in a real powerful way and in a real impactful way and um, we're proud to be a part of their mission. A lot has been said about the next generation being the stewards that are going to take over the mess that we're handing them in the environment. And I think the canoe program and its educational components are a great way to introduce that next generation. Without someone introducing and becoming a mentor to a child, we can't expect them to be able to go out and learn how to do it on their own. And I think about, I remember the time my dad bought a canoe. He bought an aluminum craft canoe and I was so excited and we brought it out there. Didn't know how to paddle at all. We were paddling around in circles. Basically taught ourselves how to, how to paddle a canoe. Those opportunities, again, you know, kind of for discovery and for learning about yourself and for building your own self-confidence and they develop a a sense of place and a sense of perspective that I think serves them well as they move on in other realms of life.